I'll explain the order of operations and then I'll go over six more problems from order of operations number one I'll cover the top three and then the bottom three you may have heard the order of operations described as PEMDAS this is just a little saying to help you remember the order of the letters please excuse my dear Aunt Sally our first concern is parentheses that is all grouping symbols if there's anything within the grouping symbol that you can combine or simplify that's what you're to do this first set is braces then brackets parentheses this is the radical sign or radical symbol so for instance if you had under the radical you would first combine these two so this gives you 25 and you bring down this radical sign now the square root of 25 is 5 so that's your answer even the fraction bar is considered a grouping symbol for instance if you had and you would first simplify the numerator and simplify the denominator so this gives us and here we have and then 14 divided by 7 so there's your answer Here's another example where we have parentheses, so we have to take care of what's inside first. Within parentheses, proceeding left to right, we have division, so we take care of that first. I'd say you have a negative divided by a positive, so this gives us a negative, and that's a 4. Now you bring down what you haven't touched, which is the 10. and the parentheses I'll also bring down the rest of this and the nice thing about bringing everything down is this allows you to ignore what's above it so now I only have to focus on this within parentheses signs are different subtract keep the sign of the larger now I'm going to bring everything down. This 5 is waiting to multiply. So I could put parentheses here, but since really I'm just going to multiply, I'll put a dot and then bring down the 5 as well as the 7. So now going left to right, we have multiplication. So it's a positive times a positive. This gives us a positive 30 bring down what we haven't touched a very patient 7 sorry it's a little crooked but 7 and 30 gives us I could have brought this down each time for instance I could have done that and then that etc but you get the idea it's nice to bring everything down so you don't have to look at the line above So after parentheses, or all grouping symbols, your next concern is exponents. Before I describe what happens with exponents other than one, it may be helpful to repeat what I said in the first video on adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. That is, you can treat the sign in front of the number as the sign of the number. So this would be positive 20, negative 7. Signs are different. Subtract keep the sign of the larger and then bring down whatever you haven't touched now the signs are the same you add and keep the sign so this works fine as long as there's no exponent other than one but here where you have exponent other than one you have to deal with that first 
and the exponent only applies to what it touches. So this exponent of 2 applies to the 5. So this indicates that we have 5 times 5, or 25. Now we'll bring down whatever we haven't touched. This negative, the 30, and the positive 4. So now here the signs are different. We subtract and keep the sign of the larger. Bring down our positive 4. And this gives us the signs are the same. We'll add and keep the sign. The other thing I mentioned in the first video on adding, subtracting, positive, negative numbers is you can use the rules of multiplication to change from two signs to one sign. So here I can use the rules of multiplication. Positive times negative is negative, And then you bring down whatever you haven't touched. And now here the signs are different. We subtract. Keep the sign of the larger. Bring down what we haven't touched. And here the signs are the same. We add and keep the sign. But with exponent other than 1, I cannot just circle these and use the rules of multiplication. I have to deal with the exponent first. The exponent applies to whatever it touches. In this case, that's parentheses. So we have two sets of parentheses. Each has a negative 5. Negative times negative is positive, so this gives us 25. And now we'll bring down whatever we haven't touched. This positive sign, the 30, as well as the positive 4. Now the signs are the same we add. Keep the sign. Bring down what we haven't touched. And finally, that's After exponents, our next concern is multiplication or division, whichever one we get to first. That's why we use the word or. You do either one proceeding left to right. So right here, proceeding left to right, we have division. 28 divided by 7 gives us a 4. Bring down our times 2. And this gives us 8. Looking at our next example, proceeding left to right, we have exponent here and over here. So remember, the exponent applies to what it touches, nothing else. So we have two sets of parentheses, each with negative 6 and negative 6 times negative 6, positive 36. Since this other exponent is separated by a few operations, I'll go ahead and take care of it on the same line. And again, the two only applies to the the exponent of two only applies to the three. So we have three times three, which is nine. And now we'll bring down everything we haven't touched. Division. and that negative. And again I'll mention I could cover all this up because I brought down everything. So I just have to deal with what's on this line. Proceeding left to right we have division. We'll take care of that first. This gives us positive 36 divided by 4 
And now I'll bring down what I haven't touched. And over here. I already used, I called that a positive 36 divided by 4, so that's where that positive came from. So I've already used it. I bring down the 19. If you had just said 36 divided by 4, you'd get a 9, and you'd bring that positive down. The bottom line is you always bring down what you have not used. And now that's all gone. And proceeding left to right, you have to deal with your multiplication. So I'm going to say positive 9 times positive 10, positive 90, and bring this down, as well as this. And I could cover this up again if I felt like it. So here the signs are the same. This gives us 109. bring down what we haven't used and then finally the signs are different we subtract keep the sign of the larger now after multiplication or division our last concern is addition or subtraction whichever you get to first going left to right I also mentioned in the first video you could put all the positives together, add all the negatives together, add, and then you would only have one subtraction. So looking at this example, you have parentheses, you have to take care of what's inside going left to right, and we have a division. So negative divided by positive, and we'll bring down what we haven't touched, So we still have to take care of what's inside parentheses. Signs are different. Subtract. Keep the sign of the larger. I'll bring down what I haven't touched. Here this negative 4 is waiting to multiply. So I could just put a dot here to indicate multiplication. So with this we have to take care of multiplication before addition or subtraction. So negative 4 times positive 5. Bring down what we haven't touched. Here the signs are different. We subtract. Keep the sign of the larger. Bring down this very patient 1. And finally we get And finally, looking at the last one, uh, you have to take care of multiplication prior to addition or subtraction. So negative 3 times positive 2. Bring down what you haven't touched. And I'll bring down the 5, positive 5. So here the signs are different. We subtract, keep the sign of the larger. Bring this down. And finally we get since you have to deal with multiplication or division whichever you get to first oftentimes I'll put a little arrow over the M and the D to indicate whichever you get to first I'll do the same with the A and the S that is I'll put an arrow over them indicating whichever you get to first from left to right, that's the one you're concerned with. If you would like to download this worksheet, I'm going to solve the top three. Then I will solve the bottom three. I leave it for you to work on the ones that are in the middle, but you might like having your notes on this particular sheet. Following the order of operations, our first concern is multiplication. 
negative 4 times 5 yields a negative 20 and now we just bring down whatever we haven't used I haven't used the positive or the 3 the negative or the 7 and this 9 then you proceed again in order um, again my preference is to group together all the positives so I'll grab the 9 and the 3 that gives us a 12 grab the negatives the negative 7 the negative 20 that gives us a negative 27 and then you have the 27 and the 12 have different signs so you subtract and keep the sign of the larger So your answer is negative 15 moving over to the next order of operations problem and I'll mention briefly some of these are quite long and involved uh, but on a test it's not uncommon to see a very short one but it's easy to do things in the wrong order um, oftentimes people think oh you have to do multiplication first uh, no it's multiplication or division whichever you get to first going from left to right 48 divided by 6 is 8 bring down whatever you haven't used this 6 was waiting to multiply so the multiplication is preserved I could bring down parentheses well, actually since it's a negative 2 perhaps I will but I could just put a dot there 8 times negative 2 is negative 16 now turning our attention to the long one Um, parentheses are the first concern which includes all grouping symbols these are parentheses but there's nothing within them that there's no operation inside of these parentheses that we can do parentheses next to parentheses mean to multiply but prior to multiplication we have to worry about grouping symbols so 16 plus 9 gives us 25 and we bring down whatever we have not used and I have to mention I have not used the square root sign or square root symbol however you like to term it so the 25 is still underneath the radical symbol bring down anything else that you have not used and then proceed from left to right once again if you want to be real safe you just do one operation per line but often when an expression gets this long if you can do two things on the same line it does make life easier um, this exponent is way over here so I'm gonna take care of that 2 to the third power that's 2 times 2 times 2 so that would be 4 times 2 which is 8 so 2 to the third power is 8 and way over here I have the square root of 25 I can go ahead and take the square root of 25 which is simply 5 now I bring down everything that I have not used And this minus sign I still haven't used okay sorry my lines getting a little crooked here once you get good at the order of operations you can do more things on each line but I encourage you if you find it at all confusing to just be very careful and just do one or two things per line 
Now I just reassess it. And when I reassess, everything above here is gone. I no longer have to look at anything above this. I only have to worry about exactly what's on this line. Proceeding from left to right, I have division. So negative 30 divided by 5 yields a negative 6. I'll bring everything down that I haven't used, the 8. I use that negative. I said it's a negative 30. But this set of parentheses comes down. And now again, we proceed from left to right. This indicates multiplication. I have a number next to parentheses. Negative 6 times a negative 2 is a positive 12. Bring down whatever I have not used. And now combining 8 and 12 gives me 20. Bring down the negative 5. Combine these last two, and we get 15. If you downloaded this sheet and you have notes in these top three, I'm going to cover this bottom row. We have the grouping symbol of the radical sign, but there's nothing within there to combine like there was on the previous problem when we could combine the 16 and the 9 to get 25. We have grouping symbol and within the grouping symbol there's another set of parentheses. We call this inner set the nested set of parentheses and that is where you always begin the innermost set of parentheses. So 6 and negative 2 when you combine them you get a 4. I would get away with taking the square root of 36 because it's outside of this set of parentheses and it's not involved with that with this set. But um, maybe this time just for clarity I'll only do one operation on the first line. I'm bringing down everything that I have not used. This 8 is waiting to multiply whatever the result is from within the brackets. Again, within the brackets, 7 and 4 gives me 11. I'll bring down whatever I haven't used negative 8 and I'm just gonna put a dot here now to indicate multiplication I could put brackets but they're not required it's easier to put a dot and I am gonna go ahead and take the square root of 36 it's outside of what I'm concerned with here so I can do that the square root of 36 is 6 and this is a number next to a grouping symbol and that's math shorthand for multiply. So I'm just going to bring down two times that preserves the multiplication. That's six. Now you proceed from left to right. Two times six gives us a 12. I'll bring down what I have not used. Now I have to do multiplication over here. Negative 8 times 11. Bring down what I have not used. The signs are different. I'll subtract and keep the sign of the larger. So I have 88, 12, it's a negative 76. Notice when I do scratch work, I try to go off to the side. If you do scratch work under where the next result is going, 
it becomes hard to follow the process. And I think now when you look at this, any number that you look at, you can tell where it came from. This four, you know it came from the six and the negative two directly above it. Turning our attention to this middle column. Again, sometimes they're fairly short, but you have to be careful to proceed in the correct order of operations. So within the brackets, we have a nested set of parentheses. You're required to address that first. So positive one, negative seven, the signs are different. Subtract, keep the sign of the larger, bring down whatever you have not used. I'll bring down the parentheses because I'm containing that negative sign. I'm really doing this for clarity. If I didn't bring down the parentheses, it would still say 30 divided by negative 6. This 2 is easy to forget about, so be sure you bring that down. 30 divided by negative 6 is negative 5. Bring down whatever you have not used. This 2 is waiting to multiply whatever is inside. 2 times negative 5 yields a negative 10. This is the last one that we'll work on. Uh, we have exponent here, but we have a grouping symbol. So I'll turn my attention to the grouping symbol first. Within the grouping symbol, I cannot combine 6 to the 0 power with negative 14. Or you could also say I can't subtract 14 from 6 to the 0 power. Because this exponent requires attention prior to addition or subtraction. 6 to the 0 power, in fact, anything to the 0 power is 1. I cover this concept in a previous video. And now I'll bring down anything that I have not touched. Again, I would, I would get away with doing a little bit else on this first line, uh, but just to emphasize, if you're uncertain on how to proceed, just decide on the one operation that you have to do and bring everything else down. Now we still have a grouping symbol, so we'll combine these two, positive 1, negative 14, this gives us a negative 13. But I want to go ahead and do a couple other things. I can take care of 4 to the third power. This is well outside of my parentheses. 4 times 4 times 4 is 16 times 4. When you get 64. All right, so that's going to go up here. Right underneath 4 to the third power. I put 64 and again this I cannot do this division prior to working with the exponent 10 squared or 10 raised to the second power is a hundred and now I'll bring down whatever I have not touched negative 2 I could just put a dot but Perhaps I'll put parentheses, this plus I have not used, nor the division. Now we have multiplication indicated here and division indicated here. So I'll take care of proceeding from left to right, I'll take care of the multiplication. Negative 2 times negative 13 yields a positive 26. And just to be very clear that's all I'll do on this line bring down whatever I haven't touched
then 100 divided by 25 is 4. It's positive 100 divided by 25. So that's a positive 4. Bring down the 64, the 26. So now I have three positive numbers. I just add them. This gives me 90. And finally, 94.